interesting you mentioned the police. Uh, there was some discussion, I think, when you spoke to one of the groups about um, space problems at the police station. Uh, needed well, to address these? Right. You know, if you talk to any of us at any level of government, uh, we're going to tell you that we have a space problem. And certainly the police, you know, have been in their building for, for many, many years. And But I think in this particular uh, period of time, what we're going to try to do to accommodate and, and uh, make it uh, a little, life a little better uh, is we're going to take a really good look at our 6500 building and try to utilize the space that we have in the 6500 building for at least the next couple of years uh, to accommodate the, necess the needs that the police uh, have in terms of needing more space. Uh, we received word recently that the Palm Tran is suspending or, or getting rid of its link service. And I was just wondering if this was indicative of, their, of a problem specific to them or whether this I know the city has a shuttle service mm -hmm. just begun a year or mm -hmm. so ago. Uh, how is that faring? That's a, that's a really good question too and I think it has concerned some people but we are not presently concerned at all that we would lose our shuttle system. That Our shuttle system is a public uh, private partnership. Uh, I think the Palm Tram issue that you're referring to was lack of ridership right. and we do not have that. Uh, lack of ridership. In fact, our ridership has increased uh, through the years. No, we're not. We're not concerned about losing that link. See a lot of them out there. Yeah, so. and and it's vital, frankly, to our FAU ridership. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's been a plan discussed at the city council about uh, increasing the density of the either the change of the zoning or to allow increased density mm -hmm. at our Vita Park and Commerce either that park alone or some of the other parks out on the, on the Congress Avenue corridor. Um, what, does this, what does this intended to accomplish? Well, if you may remember that going back even a few years ago, we did make some changes where about 30% of the property out there was, was, would, was changed in order to reflect uh, the more, more um, uh, common uses, such as right. just office, you know, common office mm -hmm. space, et cetera. So we actually have made that 30% change, but now what we're looking at is in July we'll send our comp plan uh, to Tallahassee and then when it comes back in October we'll have to uh, vote to approve it. And within that comp plan what we hope to accomplish is just some verbiage uh, that will give us the flexibility to make additional changes as needed um, in hopes that that, that will pass. and. Will, it won't be so complicated to make any additional changes that, that the councils in the future would see. Um, speaking of jobs, what, what's next for uh, downtown redevelopment? Well, what's the good news is, uh, the great news, as a matter of fact, is what's next is construction. Great. We just let a contract on our last council meeting uh, and within, by the end of the summer, we'll be digging up um, you know, one side or the other. Uh, hopefully we will not have to shut down, of course, Palmetto Park Road at all. We'll do it, you know, piece by piece, lane by lane. And uh, hopefully by December, you know, right before the new year, uh, all of Palmetto Park Road, the promenade will be done. So what's next is construction. Wrapping up for today, we may be back again with another 10 questions, okay. but um, annexation has become a, a sort of a serious issue with the city council and I wondered after the other me meeting a few days ago have you changed your your strategy as to how to sell the well, issue? My, my, my strategy as it relates to evaluating an annexation is pretty simple and that is we have to like the area collectively like right the area that we would like to annex. They have to want to come into the city and they have to be a cash flow positive or we're just simply not interested at all. So when, when you have that fixed as a set criteria and you're looking at such wonderful, lovely places as a Boca Grove or a St. Andrew's Country Club and that area, which pretty well just sort of squares off 
the city limits and brings us to about a, a ultimately about a hundred thousand population. It 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 I don't I don't want to be two hundred thousand population. I don't want to be a five hundred thousand population. But I think that when you get into small but yet medium medium sized communities, about a hundred thousand population is really uh, a pretty good number. And I think that's what we're sort of looking at. I think people's concerns about annexation uh, lies in, uh, are, are you going to just annex forever? Right. I think maybe that's the concern. And that's certainly not my goal by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a problem with trying to a anchor us right. in, in a logical, geographical area. And I certainly uh, would welcome a St. Andrews Country Club or a Boca Grove. Okay. The way you welcome them all. Uh, the help. same way that we welcome them all, and as long as it's a cash positive flow into the city, then I think we should study it and take a look at it. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity, and I know you're going to take a few days off. You deserve it. It's been a tough season, so uh, we hope to see you again when you get back. Well, and, uh, I'll just be gone about a week, and uh, I'll be back, and looking forward to everything that uh, we have coming forward. We've got a tough budget year. We're going to work through it, but Boca's a wonderful, fine city, and uh, we have excellent uh, residents and, and involvement from all of our residents, so looking forward to yet another year. We're here if you need us. Okay. Thank, and I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thank I'm you. very glad you're here, and congratulations okay. to the paper. Thanks very much.